today's video is going to be on removing your factory fuel pump off your XV250 and installing this guy. Now if you need to know why I got this guy and everything, I got it off of eBay. And there is a link in the description below. And if you're interested in doing this mod also to your XV250, you can pick you up one as well and just follow my instructions. So to get this video off to a start, the first thing that you need to do is remove your seat. I got this solo seat installed on mine. There's a video on my channel of me installing this seat. My seat is simple to remove. All I have to do is pull these two little clips on each side and remove this nut here, my whole seat will come off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once you get your seat removed, you will want to remove your bolt that holds the gas tank on. Now, once you get your bolt loose, you can remove your bolt and washer. Mine was a 12 millimeter. The next thing you can do to make your hoses a little bit easier to unplug and stuff is undo these two little 516 bolts. Just like so. Now on the other side of the motorcycle, you can loosen these two 516 bolts up and let this drop down too to make it easier to get to all your hoses. And that has got that out of the way. Next, you can unplug your fuel pump. And to do that, all you have to do is move these little clamps back. You can just press them together scoot them back off your hoses and then pull your hoses off and here's a fuel pump removed all three hoses unplugged now do bear in mind you will have some gas come out of this a little but not much now once you got that you can come and straighten up your handlebars so it's easier to get the tank lifted off of the bike hose still attached you will need to unplug okay let's go ahead and remove the next part of a venture which will be a vacuum lines now if you still got your pod up here you will need to keep this hose for now so just go ahead and remove him so we got all the lines removed we kept this one that goes to a pod now we're going to set it to the side so the next step guys will be draining your gas tank as I'm sure you want to keep your gas because the gas prices are not as cheap as it used to be. So get you a container and then we go from there. I got me a gas jug and how I'm going to do it is undo these two hoses that go to this guy and gas will just drain into this jug once you feed your hoses over to it. Now. If you had a buddy to hold your tank steady, that will probably help out a whole lot easier than the way I am doing it. But as you can see, a gas is draining. So we'll just wait till the tank is empty. Once you get your tank drained, you can flip it upside down and go ahead and take a four way and remove these two bolts. Once the two screws are loosened, you can pick straight up on your pump as you can see here's us both filters attached and everything i took me a a wag and just wiped off the old paint that was kind of bubbling from the gas because you do want this to reseal good you got uh, paint lifting up it makes for a bad seal so just wipe it off so just clean it off the best you can and be careful and don't let anything go into your tank Here's a side-by-side -side of the new one and the stock one. As you can see, all this is the same. 
So you reserve and everything is going to be the same as if it was stock. You ain't changing none of that. You're going to actually run out of gas the same place as you did on this pickup as you will this one. So now you want to take your new gasket that came with this guy and install this the same way this one came off. Now on your factory bolts you will be reusing these. That's kind of a cork gasket. Be careful and don't tear these. It just added protection from your dreads. It keeps them from leaking if they all leak. Just reuse these if you can. Here is this guy installed. Looks good. Fit perfect. No modification needed. Now I'm going to go and trim these off with a hand saw. Ain't going to use no grinder. Nothing like that because it ain't safe to do this on a gas tank that had gas in it so just take you a handsaw if you're going to trim these or try it out and make sure the bike is going to do okay because these is your mounts you might want to leave them in case you want to go back to a fuel pump so it's up to you next we are going to install this if you still got your pods back over into the intake boot. Now anyway, a couple ways you can do this. One, you can stretch it and hopefully it'll fit over this. Number two, you can plug both sides of this and use this adapter just like it normally would without these two openings. Or you can buy an adapter that ain't across it just adapts into one side to another and use that. Now I got my holes fixed up, ready to go. I can just sit, scoot it out of the way. Okay, before installing the tank, what you want to do, guys, is this guy's bent. If you run this peacock, it comes straight out. You're going to have to wrap the holes all the way around. That ain't going to work. What I recommend is just taking a hacksaw. Just sawing this straight. Now that I got mine cut straight, we should be able to hook the holes into it pretty easily. Now you do not want to try to bend this because this can cause this to leak. You can try to twist it if you wanted to at your own risk, but it could cause it to leak in here. So I don't recommend that. I recommend just taking a handsaw and saw this off. Okay guys, I ended up going with this factory hose that was on the fuel pump, the third hose. It's got this little place right here and it sets up against, keeps from, keeps from, you know, rubbing a hole into your fuel line, so that's good. See, I got one clamp on that, and the top part, I got it double clamped. And I almost forgot to hook that hose back up. That's no biggie. I do that right now. Once you got that, make sure your fuel is off and go ahead and feed your tank up and keep an eye out for leaks. So, now that we got a tank filled back up, we have no leaks so far. The gas is still off. The next step I like to personally do is actually loosen this uh, drain screw up. Be cool, boy, right? Sometimes they end up pretty tight. You don't have to do this. And I don't think I might not be doing this either. Nope, I ain't doing that. Oh well. So the next step guys, let's turn the fuel on. And see if the bike will start. And if it starts and runs okay, then you will want to bolt your seat and everything back together. It has gotten dark outside, as you can see. I did ride the bike, and I did uh, test drive it. It does good. The modification here does not seem to affect it in any negative way. As I've seen, I do have a full tank of gas almost, but the reserve is on the same spot as it would be if you used a factory one. So I don't think it would affect it in any negative way. If you was on reserve as if you was on reserve with a fuel pump. 
that's just my opinion. It did make the bike look cleaner. I would show you, but my flash is dead on my phone. So, yeah. That ain't gonna happen tonight. But, maybe in upcoming videos, you can notice it more. Because I do plan on doing a lot more modifications to this XV250. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to see more videos on this bike and all the modifications we have did to it so far, it has its own playlist on the channel. It's called Little V. Check it out. Might be something you enjoy. Feel free to leave me comments. And don't forget, if you want to do this mod yourself, you can find the item that I used today in the description below. Thank you for watching.